After hosting the World Cup a few years ago, I thought it might be interesting to take a look at some clubs in Qatar to see whether they can actually produce themselves a half-decent footballer. And spoiler alert, kinda. There's no superstars, but there's a fair few players with 130 potential range. We are kicking things off in this video with Al Wakra Sports Club, obviously in Qatar. All of these teams are in Qatar. I don't know why I decided to tell you that. They are not very good at producing good young players. However, they produced some... Their best player pretty much has got 115 potential. Over the course of five simulations, Al Wakra have managed to produce just 13 players in their entire youth intakes over five years. Yep, it's not a lot. It's literally like three per season. Abdullah Hassan Mohammed is one of the better ones and he has 96 potential. It's not very good. Hisham Kamal Al Mari also has 96 potential. Moving up to 98 potential is Omar Al Sulaiti, might be his name. But the best player they have produced is Fahad Al Ansari, who has 114 potential. That is the best player they've produced out of probably about 50 to 60 players. He is a model citizen, however. He also doesn't look too bad, does he? He's worth 4.4 million pounds. No one's paying that for you. Next up, we're in a slightly better position when it comes to getting in decent young players. Al Arabi Sports Club, I think, are one of the better teams in Qatar, and they've produced some players with 130 potential. They've also produced four players with 100 potential. Murad Salah Salah, which is a great name, has 100 potential. Adel Ahmed Al Enzi also has 100 potential. He doesn't look too bad. Muhammad Ali has 100 potential. And Abdul Rahman Al Thani has 100 potential as well, but his current ability is 37. I don't think he's ever going to reach it. But wait, it does get better. We have Abdullah Hassan Al Diri, who has 114 potential. With 115 potential, we have Ali Jaferi, who actually doesn't look too bad either. Also with 115 potential is Mohammed Ismail Mahmoud. And with 117 potential is Ali al Kuwari. But the best player with 131 potential is Al Moez Al Yari. 20 years of age, left winger, maybe a striker. He's got a cap as well for Qatar. The problem is in Qatar, everyone's really expensive. 3.5 to 10.5 million pounds is not worth it for a player who is 20 and only has 131 potential. Next up we are moving over to Al Garafa Sports Club. Now these are, I would say, probably the best team that I've seen over these simulations. They're not getting ridiculously good players. We've not got a player from Al Garafa with 130 potential. However, we are getting a lot of players with 120 potential or higher. And a ridiculous amount of players as well with 110 to 120 potential. Khalid Mohammed has 111 potential. Ahmed Gamal has 115 potential. Mohammed Al Kabi has 115 as well. Jasim Al Ali has 117 potential. And Abdul Hadi Salah Al Shamari, which is a very complicated name to try and say for an English person, has 119 potential. But the best player they've managed to produce in this intake is Mahir Youssef Al Thani, who has 129 potential. And every single one of these simulations, all five simulations, they've produced at least one, some of them, maybe even three players with 120, kind of 125 to 130 potential. So Al Garafa, probably the best team in Qatar at producing kind of good enough players. We are stepping down slightly when it comes to quantity and quality. Qatar Sports Club or Qatar SC seem to produce maybe five players with 110 to 120 potential. They didn't produce anybody better than that. Nasser Al Shamari has 111 potential and he's arguably probably going to be Qatar's number one goalkeeper. Fahad Al Omari has 113 potential and Hassan Al Mullah has 119 potential but he looks very good because he has 110 current ability. He's very close to reaching his peak. I'm, it's quite confusing. 110 current ability doesn't look bad to me. That does not look like a particularly bad player. Yes, he's got 11s and 12s are kind of his peak numbers, but he will still do a job in a championship side. If a championship side spends like £8 million on this man, they probably need to be investigated. Also, weirdly, Qatar SC have Ahmed Moeen Mohammed, who is obviously from Qatar. He's not very good, but he's also part of Senegalese. Is that a thing? I don't know. The last team in this video, we are going to end on a high-ish. Al Rayan Sports Club are, I'd say, second best when it comes to producing decent young footballers from Qatar behind Al Garafa. Let's take a look to see what they've done. In this simulation of the 14 players that they have produced, five of them have between 110 and 120 potential. Mohamed Ahmed has 111 potential. 
Hamad al Kawari has 114 potential and he looks quite good, although it might be the fact that he's really fast. That might be throwing me. Ahmed Moeen Mohamed has 114 potential ability. He looks like he could get better, but let's face it, I don't think he's going to. Saud Hassan has 115 potential ability at 16. You could be mistaken at thinking he's going to get really good um, because of that determination number of 16. He's not, is he? He's really not. And with 117 potential, we have Salem Mohammed, who I think so far probably looks like the best player to come through the Al Ryan youth intakes. He's not bad. Mentally, he's got some good numbers there. I quite like him. But the best player to come through Al Ryan is Mufak Al Naimi, who has 110 current ability and 130 potential. He's already managed to pick up three caps as well for the Qatari national side. Physically looks quite good. Mentally got some reasonable numbers. Teamwork at 14 is quite decent. Technically also not awful. 12s and 13s for dribbling, crossing, first touch, 15 technique as well. So Al Rayan seem to do okay. Every single one of these five intakes that I have simulated, so there's been five in total, they've probably picked up one or two players with 120 to 130 potential. Al Naimi being the best one. There is one other club, however, in Qatar, and that is the Aspire Academy for Sports Excellence. They are not a team, they don't have a division, they're an amateur side. If we take a look, they're just an under 18 squad, but you can see there we have at least five players that have come through the youth intake. There's a couple more down the bottom. Let's see how good these are, shall we? We have three players with 100 to 110 potential. Mahmoud Ahmed is one of them with 105. We have three more players with 110 to 120 potential. Abdul Rahman Naji has 112 potential. Abdul Ali has 113 potential. And Asim Al Thani has 115 potential and we've got some more players to go. Mahmoud Al-Mahanadi has 121 potential. Abdulaziz Al-Mari has 126 potential. We're still going. With 133 potential, we have Ahmed Mohamedi. A lot of these players are getting released by the Aspire Academy because they're basically too old. With 144 potential ability, we have Saleh Al Kawari, 17 years of age, still looks very good. And we have one more player who is literally going to be a superstar. Mohamed Salim Al Thani, 19 years of age, currently playing for Eintracht Frankfurt over in Germany, eight caps to his name. A value of 21 to 64 million pounds has 177 potential. The Aspire Academy is the place to go for young Qatari footballers. Don't bother checking out any of the other clubs in the country. The Aspire Academy is where you want to be going. And just to prove a point, we have Mohamed Al Thani with 135 potential ability came through the Aspire Academy. And Mohamed Ali, not that one. He has 169 potential ability playing now for RB Leipzig. Four caps, one goal to his name. This is obviously a different simulation as well. Go to the Aspire Academy. They are surprisingly good. And obviously all of these players get released once they're over 18. So you might be able to just be really cheeky and steal them on a free. Have you ever wondered what clubs in the Republic of Ireland will be producing some pretty decent footballers? Well, take a look at this video on screen now, which will detail, I think, five, maybe even six clubs in the Republic of Ireland. It's probably worth taking a look at.